Hey guys, it's Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of a camera that was actually sent to me so I can try it out. And this is the real Link C1 Pro camera. This was sent to me like a week ago and I'm finally going to be unboxing it here so I can try it out. So this right here, let's go and show you, run down the specs. It's a 4 megapixel camera, of course, and it does 2560 1440p way better than 1080p and of course it's a dual band camera so that means you can connect it to 2.4 gigahertz or 5.0 gigahertz and a two-way audio as well so it has a microphone built in it has a speaker and microphone um pam and tilt pan tilt pans to 355 degrees tilts to 105 degrees um, eight piece of infrared built in micro SD slot and all that. Um, of course, supports up to 64 gigabytes of card for storage. So let's go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Of course, I haven't tried this camera yet. So what I'm going to do here is unbox the camera, then set it up and sh show, um, finish the video like that. So right here, you actually have the software that you can actually install to your computer if you want. Or you can actually go to the link and download it from there, which I honestly recommend doing it that way. Because uh, most likely you're going to get the better, the best update or the latest update uh, via the internet. So here you have some instruction manuals right there. And of course you have a sticker so you can put it on the window in your home. And you have, I think, another sticker here. I don't know what that's for yet, but I guess we'll know later on. And let's go ahead and see what's here. Let's go this box right here. Okay, so here you have another box with, let's see what's in here. You got uh, Ethernet cable. Good that it has that. Here you have a power cord, which is a micro USB cable. And it's it seems that it's long as hell. Good, it, there is a lot of cable in this bunch right here. So this has to be more than 10 foot long. And you got the power adapter of course this goes to the wall and we're going to plug it to the wall and this right here is basically like uh, one of those holders uh, you could put this uh, on the wall you could fix it right there then you could put the camera right there you can have it hanging like that or you can actually control the angle of the camera there as well but i don't think that's the way i'm going to set it up here i have on um, some screws and all that for that I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to actually put it on the furniture. Position it on the furniture. And that's how I'm going to set up the camera. Here, there's nothing more. And here is the camera. Let's go and take this out. There you go. So there it is. Here you have the real link brand right there. Here you have a little button, which I still don't know what it is for. Um, over here, you got the speaker. And you have another speaker here. One of them, too, most likely is a microphone and a speaker. I don't know which one is it yet. And over here, you have two antennas. You got two antennas there. And over here, of course, you got an Ethernet port. And you have the, this is where the micro SD slot is. That you're going to put up to a 64 gigabyte car right there. And this is where the power goes in. That's where the power goes in here. And that's it. Here in the bottom, this is basically where you're going to... If you're going to use this, if you're going to use this, this right here actually goes right there. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. And once I set it up and use it for a couple days, I'm going to continue with the second half of the video. Hey, you guys. And here back again with the second half and final part of the video. It's been like three or four days after I did the initial unboxing of this camera, which is the C1 Pro from Real Link. And uh, right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit um, the application so you guys can have an idea how it's going to work when you're using your phone. Keep in mind, there is also an application for your computer that you can use in it, the the computer application actually is really good. There's a lot of things you can actually do there. Everything that you can do here on, in this application on your phone, you can actually do it on your PC as well. I've been using it on Mac and the application works perfectly good. I didn't use the disc. I actually went to the link and downloaded the application from there. So I recommend you guys to do the same thing with the link I'll be leaving on the video. So, but here on the application, I'm gonna show you guys a couple things you can actually do here uh first of all when you open it up right when you open it up this is how it's gonna look right you have camera one which is one camera that i have if you had a whole bunch of cameras you would see like little 
thumbnails uh, more thumbnails you will see there like camera one camera two camera three or you can also name the cameras as well like living room bedroom blah 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 right uh, if you want to add a camera all you got to do is that right there and the camera has a barcode in the bottom all you got to do is scan the bar barcode in the bottom and it will automatically add the camera now keep in mind when you do this for the first time when you link your new camera to your router it is recommended to use the uh, ethernet cable connected directly to the router when you open this application the application will automatically see the camera you don't even have have to search for the camera at all it will automatically see the camera and then here there's going to be a section like you see here it says wi-fi when you go to the wi-fi section it's going to let you actually connect to your wi-fi at your home so all you got to do is enter your you uh, select the wi-fi that you want right remember this camera is dual band so you can connect it to 2.4 gigahertz which is the common one or you could connect it to the 5.0 gigahertz i connected it to 5.0 because uh, it's the bandwidth the band that we less use here in the house so it's less cluttered right so that's what i chose once you do that you can unplug the camera from the router you can even unplug the camera from the power Power and then move the camera wherever you want in the house and plug it back to the power and that's it the camera will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi so here right when you see the camera right there you have a couple options right here push notification is something that you should activate when you're not at home um, because what push notification is gonna do is gonna activate uh, the motion sensor every time it detects something it will automatically send you a notification to your phone and it will actually start recording as well so it will record whatever it detects and after the detection it will actually record I think like 15 seconds after the detection but that you can actually control here in the application as well you can actually go to the settings for the camera and here in the settings for the camera you can actually control a lot of things like for example display um here you can actually control what you see up here you see you see the time and date and you see the name of the camera you can actually control all that here as well um rotation mirror so right now this is live right now i put it on the kitchen for the purpose of this video if i click rotate so the camera look at that the camera will rotate to the other side to the opposite side that you would actually use if you put it, your camera on the ceiling and you need the the you need the picture to rotate that's where you're going to use that so make sure you remember that um you also have anti-flicker if you go to advanced you can actually control the exposure white balance um backlight so if i if i put like exposure over here it will actually affect it but you know if you click right there it will return everything back to default but remember always click save every time you make a change to this application so that way every changes that you do here will actually take effect here you got the quality keep in mind this camera records at 2560 1440 that's the best uh, resolution that this camera records at right but you can change it right here as well for example it has two it has three modes it has clear balance and, and and fluent fluent is the lowest one which is actually 720p when you are away from home and the service the internet service is not that good it will actually tell you hey do you want to switch to fluent that way you can you know everything you can see is smooth and all that so you just you would switch it here to uh, fluent but you, that you don't have to access that this is where you actually control the resolution a uh, frame frame rate and max bit rate same thing over here when you go to clear right now it's set to 1440 which is the max but if you want to go to 1080p right or you want to go to 1298 96 and you want to change the frame rate to 30 and you want to change this to 51 all you got to do is change it there then click save but right now i'm just going to go ahead and leave it the way it is i'm not going to save it says content do you want to need to save no you got sd card this is right now i have a 32 gigabyte card on the camera and the cool thing is that when you have when you put memory card in the camera everything is going to be recorded to the camera right to the card and uh, you can actually take the card out of the camera whenever you want put it on the computer like i said i'm using a mac but it actually works on pc as well and you can browse through all the videos that has been recorded to the card 
every single video is i think the videos are actually recorded on uh, in mp4 which is going to be compatible with a, almost any player and you can just browse through all the pictures and videos and you can also see the differences in sizes because some pick um, videos are going to be bigger than the other and that's because you've been switching between clear balance and and fluent so that's going to be you're going to actually be able to see that when you're browsing through all the videos and you'll see it here on the video as well well, that's why you see like different sizes of, of videos so but the cool thing here is like for example record settings um, here it says overwrite when the device storage is full so when it gets full so the oldest 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 videos it will actually be overwritten so it will always constantly be recording uh, record extension keep recording for some time after the trigger event stops so this is where I told you before that after it detects a motion it will actually stop record it will actually keep recording for 15 seconds if you want to extend that to 30 seconds or one minute you can actually do that i'm going to go ahead and put it 30 seconds click save and that's it so now it's going to keep recording 30 seconds after it detects an emo uh, a motion of course you will always get notification through the phone but you can also receive a notification through email all you got to do is set this up it's going to ask you for your google email and all that and boom and that's it of course if you need to reboot the camera you can reboot it right here you can restore right here you could change the time right there the video standards you can also change it there uh, system info as well um, over here if you tap right here on the application you can actually check if there's a latest application this right here is basically um the settings for the application not the camera like for example if you log in open this application on wi-fi it will automatically start when it's live it will automatically show you the live feed if you launch the application when it's on 3g 4g or 5g which we still don't have yet but we're going to be, be getting soon um right now i have it to not go live just open the application and show me the clip on uh, the camera and that's it and i'll do the rest uh, i recommend doing that this is a password protection for the application that way if somebody tries to open your your application on your phone they need to enter a password and that's it if i click right there it's going to show me the live feed now this is where you're going to do absolutely everything this right here that you see is live if you switch your camera like that you'll see a full picture right there and all these buttons that you see here are actually the same buttons that you see right there so right here if i want to pause the video live i just click right there if i want to hear what's going on the other side like you see there you can actually hear my voice because i'm not too far from the camera there you go so you can actually listen to um you know jump in live see what's going on you're not home you you log in live right and you see what's going on if your family's talking you want to spy on them <laughs> don't do that but you can actually do that and actually talk to them as well uh, the camera speaker actually works pretty good i'm really surprised how good it actually works it's pretty loud and it works really it, it, it is really really clear so this is me testing the microphone for the camera i am on my phone talking so i'm pretty surprised with the camera it has two speakers one on each side that's great and the microphone is actually right below the camera lens right below the camera lens and it does work pretty damn good the other thing you can actually do here is take pictures so if you click right there even when you go like this you click right there it'll take a picture right there if you want to re start recording click right there and like see there it is recording so everything that you're seeing here is actually being recorded tap again and it'll start record and this video has been saved to the card just like that um here is where you're gonna actually change the resolution on the fly just like that right here if you go fluent it'll switch to 720p we change balance is basically balance is basically 1080p it's between them two is between 1440 and 720p which is actually 1080p but if you go to clear that's max if you go to clear it go is going is recording max uh, of course you see the name of the camera here you got the time and date which is also you can change as well um this right here let's say you want to zoom in in one location you click right there and let's say I want to zoom in over here, right? And chairs, boom. You can see right there. Really cool. It's 
zoom in over there zoom in over there and you can do this while you're actually recording which is pretty damn cool you could do that there here if you want to talk tap right here talk is opening then you start talking and you can hear the camera over there right now turn this off there you go <laughs> We'll turn that off but that's how you start a, uh, a conversation like if you want to talk to somebody at, uh, on the other end of the camera and that's it so over here you can also control the pan so in this also works like this as well so you see it right there you see it right here right so if i go right here right in full screen i can actually go ahead and move the camera up and down you see there And the cool thing is that the tilt um, rotation is a lot. You can actually go, when you pan, you can actually go all the way to 355, which is insane. It's almost it's almost 360. And when you see the camera, when you put the camera in auto, because you can actually leave the camera in auto, um, it's insane. It goes all the way back. And also, you could go all really, really up. You could go all the way up. Almost, it goes all, almost behind, which I think is, I think it's 105 degrees, something like that. Look at that. You see the cabinets over the camera. Go down again. Now, another thing that this camera has, right? Right now, the camera is way off, right? And you can actually create marks, right? You can actually create marks. So if I click right here, stove click right there the camera will automatically return looking to the stove look at that automatically is going looking to the stove bam just like that that was pretty damn awesome and that's that that you can actually create it every time you do something like for example if you go if you switch over here right to chairs right there and I want to create a mark, I just click right here, name it, then create it. And automatically when you tap on position, right? When you tap on position right here, it says call, it will return the camera to that position. And it works pretty damn cool. Um, that's it. Like I said, um, the PC app, you should download it on your app, on your computer, Mac PC, or anything like that. It works pretty damn good. The microphone also works pretty damn good as well. And the speaker, it is really loud. Um, it also comes with a sticker that I actually put it outside in the window. And that's pretty good because, uh, you know, people see that. Well, just just by having a sticker, sometimes people will be like, you know what? Let me not mess with this house. Let me go. Let me go ahead and try the the other house just because of a sticker. Even if you don't have a camera, the price of this camera, which is the C1 Pro, there's other similars to this one, but this is the Real Link C1 Pro is actually eighty four ninety nine on Amazon and on the Real Link app um, website, which I'm gonna leave a link in my descriptions for both of them. You could visit the Real Link website or you can actually visit the Amazon link and buy it from there, or you can read a little bit more about it as well. So guys, that's it for this video. I gotta say it is a very, very good camera. I totally recommend it. Keep in mind, this camera was actually sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. Thanks for all the people from Real Link for letting me try the camera. Other than that, guys, the camera, it is really good. I'm totally satisfied right now with the camera. The pam and tilt is awesome. The micro SD function, it's pretty cool. Uh, the microphone and speakers work pretty damn awesome. And, uh, you know, I think for the price and the versatility about the camera, it's pretty awesome. I think it's totally worth it. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.